taking her head-to-head to 3-0 -head to against the Thai. Pavranukor and Teratanachai with victory over the Korean couple after 80 minutes of brilliant mixed doubles. So next up, it's our second juicy top 10 women singles, seeing familiar foes sitting next to each other on the world rankings, reacquaint for an 11th time. Perhaps not Intanon seems to be relaxed and resurgent and leads the head-to-head 6-4 over the imposing, long-reaching Indian, Pusala v. Sindhu. Third seed against the second seed. That's how the draw lies. From the top, An Si Young has found a way through to tomorrow's final, as she did last week, where she went on to take the title, playing some brilliant Ladies badminton. Again, yet to lose a single game in uh, the last nine Ladies matches. She's been mercenary, An Si Young, the fourth seed. She lies in wait. She'll be keeping a beady eye on this, I reckon. Our athletes just uh, will be shortly called out. Here come our umpires, our umpire and service judge, and the Lions judges as well. This one so appealing. The world number seven from India taking on the world number eight from Thailand. Well, I can tell you, as far as their head to head is concerned, yes, Intanon leads 6 4. And she's won the last two as well, the tie, both of them this year against PB Sindhu. So we always try and glean a little heads up before the match starts, but Inton on kind of marginal favourite in that regard, I suppose. Please welcome Usara Sindhu. Yeah. Showed a lot of character yesterday, did. Uh, P.V. Sindhu, the reigning world champion with a win over Sim Yu Jin of Korea yesterday. And Ratchanok Intanon, Thailand. And Ratchanok Intanon, the second seed at the foot of the women's singles draw. Only 26 years of age. She's been around a lifetime, it seems, doesn't it? Such a good junior. Five foot seven. World number eight these days, down from uh, last week's ranking of number six. But of course, she was at the summit of the game uh, five years ago in April 2016. She's won black. 16 matches Red. this year, lost 11. Red for you, so black goes for you. That's fine. Fair. Okay. So, Sindhu winning the toss, chose the far side. And it's going to be Ratchanok to serve to get us underway. So from the bottom half of the women's singles draw, then the current reigning world champion of 2019, Pusala V. Sindhu, takes on Ratchanok Intanon. And of course, PV Sindhu, last week's semi-finalist. She's been up to uh, a career high of two in the world in October 2018. Won 20 matches this year, lost nine. Current reigning world champion, 2019. And eight, 2018, the World Tour Finals champion. Made history in that regard to become the first player from India to title at the uh, end of year finale, beating uh, arch rival Naomi Okuharu. There's her route through, been uh, extremely tested in match one and three. We brought you that Aya Uhori win on day one out here on center stage. And then she really did grapple with uh, her Korean opponent yesterday, Sim. Needed an hour and six minutes. Well, Ratchanok herself has been right up to the very top of the world rankings. But as I say, that was five years or so ago now. But working her way back to form, it's been a tricky year for her, what with the loss of her mother, of course. Uh, never easy. And um, just got injured, didn't she, after the Olympics? But so far, I tell you what, she's been rehabbing that shoulder, and she seems pretty relaxed out here. She's been winning emphatically, as you can see. Detained for no longer than 40 minutes. Herself beating a Japanese player to get here, Asuka Takahashi. 
in her last match. Five foot seven she is. That's Rachinov, not the umpire. Mohamed Hatta. Ready to play. Opposite her. So an 11th meeting between these two standouts of the women's game. Prasala looking down as if to say, come on, there's some work to do here. It was a hot, sweaty mixed doubles, wasn't it? That uh, was long lasting. An hour and 20 minutes in all. Thank you. Last thing you want to do is roll an ankle or have an awkward slip. So our second women's single semi-final just about to get cracking. We know it's Ansi Young that'll meet the winner in tomorrow's final. Who will it be to join her? and on suggesting the shoulders getting stronger every day, right, hoping to peak for the World Championships in Huelva in Spain. And on my left, she won't Carla be contesting next week. To serve. Love all. Play. Love. Service over. One old. Well, it's a head to head tally that uh, meanders all the way back of a long list down to April 2013 when they first met at the India Open. Rachinok uh, secured the first three Two, wins one. in their encounters. And then uh, Pusala from 2017 and 2018 won three consecutive matches. Then, as well as a win in 2016 over the tie as well. But Rachinok's won the last two. strange when you look One. down the head-to-head -head tally because they tend to go on runs of wins against each other. So if that's the case, then I guess history would argue that Rachinox perhaps due another. Oh. Four. Just a little One. bit too much contact there, wasn't there? Not quite enough spin to get it down quickly. Well, you've got the otherworldly sort of feel Five, and touch and two. finesse of Intanon who dances around the court like an artist, doesn't she, with the way that she weaves her web. And then you've got this sort of pulsating power and long levered athleticism of Pusalavi uh, Sindhu. It's a wonderful cross net. Service over. Three, five. Look at this. Service over. Six, three. Do you 
became world champion in women's singles in 2013 in Guangzhou. Youngest ever singles champion. 18 years, six months and six days. Seven, First ever three, three times BWF World Junior Champion as well, 2009, 10 and 11. Of course, uh, Kunlovit Vititsarin has repeated that since. But it was a record that stood for years. Internal, I'm talking about. And of course, you know, Eight, she was the youngest ever three. finalist of the All England Open as well, back in 2013 at the age of 18. That's why it feels like she's been around for donkey's years. <laughs> she was very good, very young. We all know that. Service over. Four, she's got the eight. knack of making this game look very, very easy when she's right on form, hasn't she? Just like that. Pasala is uh, right on it as well. Having uh, lost to Akana Yamaguchi in a lopsided semi final last week, she's uh, equaled her efforts here to get to the last four, which is uh, very, very commendable. Aggressive clear, wasn't it? Just inside the back line, perfectly weighted from uh, Indian fans' perspective. Found it really nice. Service over seven ten. Plum in Eight, the corner. Ten. net play from Rachinok nibbling away at the scoreboard deficit with a hat trick of consecutive tie points longest rally of the match 21 shots One. missed it service over 
And it's Prasala V. Sindhu who heads to the mid-game interval with a two-point cushion, 11 points to nine. over 10 11 10. Ten. Good bossy play from the Indian. Just so good to see Intanon back fully fit. She sort of made an appearance at the Uber Cup, didn't she? Losing out uh, after just a few points, retiring to Chen Yufei. But anything sort of above shoulder height, she was struggling with. But she's still got some strapping on that right shoulder. But it has got significantly stronger, which is really encouraging. And I'm delighted for her that she's uh, finding her way back to full force. That's nice from Sindhu. Service over. 15-11. She's landed it. Service over. 12, 15. Well, 
it was only at the beginning of this game that Antonin won the opening point. Other than that, she's been playing catch up in this opener. 13, 15. Lovely, really nice. Service over. Very subtly 16, done. 13. From Pusala. Ah! Yeah, it's a gorgeous net lift away, wasn't it? Really 17, high and deep. 13. Pushing into non back and the tie gesturing out of your picture that she wants the shuttle, shuttle changed. Pusala suggesting, no, it's fine. Just showing the umpire. We'll carry on with this one, thanks. Four point cushion to the server. Oh, and luck 18, favoring 13. Pusala v Sindhu. Yes. Service over. 14 18. Change. Little ripple of applause and encouragement from the Thai coach post point. Well, it's interesting as well when you reflect Service back over. on the head-to-head -head matches 19, between them because each of their 14. last six encounters have been straight game affairs. So that suddenly adds an extra sort of poignancy and immediacy to the importance of this opening game. Sindhu now just two points away from securing it. Service over. 15-19. Well, it was a good idea with the back behind, but if she couldn't. She ran Service out of court, over. didn't she, Antonin? 20 game point, 15. So five game points. For the third seed. It's gone. Well watched by PV Sindhu. As she takes the opening game, game won by after 17 minutes of play eight. out here on court one, 21 points to 15. She's 
cross smash and up to your block, ready to cross. That's it. That's it. Okay? Come on. All ready to go. Both players have been uh, game. clearly briefed by their respective coaches, but I'm sure they're Double. very clear, having met each other in competition okay. so many times over the years. Good body attacks from Rachanok. Service over. One lock. The Indonesia Masters was, of course, her first completed tournament for a while. She lost that in the second round to her countrywoman, Pichu Pon Chaiwan, who we brought you yesterday, losing in the quarterfinals to uh, Nancy Young. Over. Because uh, prior One to that, Rachanok hold. had to retire at the Hilo Open second round, which is the former Salorlux Open in Saarbrücken. That was against Leanne Tan of Belgium. She retired 15-21, 21-7, 6-11 down in the third game. Over. Two, Deep in thought. Just trying to figure out how to fit her strengths to her opponent's weaknesses. Not that there are many. Bold and assertive Four, from Rachanok. Super tight net shot from Intanon. She's on the money at the moment. One. That's a Service wonderful over. return of serve. Three, five. Shuttle obediently finds its mark. Over. 
Well, the second game looks completely different to the first, where Ratchanot won the opening point of that game one, but then was, quite frankly, owned by the Indian. Not given another real look. Very deceptive return Service of serve four, seven. from Sindhu. Look at this. <laughs> Very nice. over eight five watch the court please so Intanon still with the reins of control in the early stages of game two here It's top tier badminton headlining at the Bali Badminton Festival. These two putting on quite a show for the privileged few today. Players looking to excel in late November here. Nine, five. Who's going to extend their stay in this? We can feast the barley badminton. Oh, wonderful straight smash from Ratchanok. Ten five. Service over, 11-7 interval. Intanon, they far more bossy badminton right now. We've seen several of those straight smashes find their mark. 11-7, she leads in game two. Seven, 
seven. Challenge from Sindhu. Final B Sindhu challenges called in. First challenge for quite a while, actually. Very close. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge. I can see why she pulled the trigger. Twelve. Good job, Lance Judge. Palm down again 14, from the Lions judge. Eight. She's found the line has into on with that. Finding all the edges that she couldn't in game one is Ratchanok Indanon right now. Her game firing on all cylinders. And we sense if she keeps this up, like in our mixed doubles, it could be going the distance again. Now is that the point of no return for PV Sindhu? Time will tell. Starting to really push the pace up, isn't she? But the errors are still hemorrhaging in her game right now, and a few misjudgments, and suddenly she's in a precarious situation here. Singing a little song with her feet down the other end, Ratchano. Service over. Nineteen 
9. Game point nine. Eleven game points for the second seed. What about that for a solid game, game of Abington then? Ratchanok into non. Compounding pressure on to Pasala B. Sindhu. She takes the second nine. game, 21 One points to nine. Odd. And uh, the Indian. Uh, got to tidy up as we head towards uh, third and deciding game. Well, Ratchanok won nine out of the last ten points to Final game. win that second game. Will she continue Double. in that rich vein of form from the near end? Play. Or will there be another swing around in this one? over one two Missed its mark. Three, two. Frustrated look on the face of Pusalavi Sindhu. That's normally her go to. Better.
service over for all. Turn the shuttle. Wonderful. Five. Really four, good from Intanon. Ten. Oh, it's been called wide, and again, it's one of those tough cross courts. Has she found out. this or not? I'm very, very curious. It was an assured look from the lines judge just below me as she split her arms, but I'm not so sure. 17,000 US dollars on this singles match, and 180 world ranking points as well to the winner. 100, beg your pardon. 1,800 points difference in this one. Oh, she was right. Challenge Great call. One successful. One challenge from the remaining. Judge. Eagle eyes. Six. Four. Plate. Another just misses its mark. We've seen a Seven, few of those, haven't we, four. over the last three, four minutes or so. Yeah. Tight net play Eight, from Rachinov. She's got the upper hand again here. Continuing with that really solid theme from game two. Over. Nine, a lot of there is creeping five. in here, aren't there? Got it. 11, 5, interval, change end. Into on. Racing out to a healthy six point lead early in the deciding game here. 11, 5. Well, amid lavish distraction, the challenge here is discipline, you'd imagine, whilst in the exotic warmth of this Balinese five-star welcome, where every need is met with a smile. The prize of badminton trophy and spoils must seem so far from the immediate call of the Eleven, soft pamperings five. and instant gratification here in Bali. Play. The 
these players are focused on the end goal. There's no doubting that. And that's commendable. Oh, yes. Now, is this the start of the resurgence from Sala? of the head from Sindhu. Not enjoying that one. donkey work in that point set it up beautifully twenty shots in that rally couldn't quite just nudge that one over super tight return a serve very deceptive as well from Salavi Sindhu that's more like it, but they've only been smatterings and odd little sprinklings of this kind of quality from the former world number two on the left. Well, it's like a deja vu situation, isn't it? So 10 minutes or so ago where it crossed the line, did it find the outside edge? So grateful to have Hawkeye at our disposal, aren't we, in this Super 1000 level event? No, it didn't. Again, super challenge calling from the sidelines. One challenge remaining. Judge. 8 14, sorry, 8 14, play. Oh yes, that's bossy. That's more like it. Nine, and she's got that 14. purposeful furrowed brow as she put this one away from Sindhu that we see so often when she's on a mission. Thank you. Well, other than that recent three-point flurry from Sindhu, it's been an upward graph on the tournament software visual live score. Look 
for Ratchanok Intanon. Now, if there is a resurgence and a turnaround here for the Indian, it's going to have to start now. Time is running out. Beautiful straight net. We know she's a big match player, Rosala, but she's going to really have to deliver right now. Another run of three points in a row for the Indian. Oh, yes. The luxury of that reach, serving her really well there for Sala. Just threw out a go-gadget arm here, just to claw this forehand back into play there. Look at that. Ratchanok unable to get to that one. Thank you. Just a demonstration of her athleticism and flexibility there at the end from Intanon. Stretching out the piriformis. points for Prusala B. Sindhu stops at four. A really nice little phase of work. But she's still four points shy of her opponent. Into on closing down the net so quickly. Really lovely little one two there. Blending pace with precision and touch, Ratchanok Intanon. Second seed. Now has seven match points. One of them saved. It's another super thousand level victory for Ratchanok Intanon.
the second seed punches a ticket to the Match women's singles final. She's really pleased with herself. So good to see her back to full health and foraying all the way to tomorrow's title decider. It'll be Ansi Young that she plays in that final, the fourth seed. At the moment, belonging to Rachanok Intanon, coming through in the end. Having lost the opening game 15 21, she came through 21 9, 21 14 after 53 minutes of action. All smiles for Rachanok. Good day at the office for her. Her job is done for the day. Confirmation of the scoreline, 21-14 in that deciding game. It was a little bit too undulating for Sindhu today, wasn't it? And Tanong goes through. Coming up next, our second mixed double semi-final involving the third seeds, Watanabe and Higashino, who sit at the summit on the World Tour rankings. Today, seeking a handful of successive wins over the rampant Danes, Christensen and Boyle, who themselves crushed the second seeds, Jordan and Octavianti. That's coming up next. Do join us for that. back. That's how the land lies on semi-final Saturday. Three down, seven to go. It's mixed doubles up next. Having uh, seen all of the women singles, both semi-finals come through. Intanon will take on Anse Young in tomorrow's final. And uh, Poivranukro and Teratanachai, who will they take on in the mixed doubles final? Well, we're just about to find out. It's Watanabe and Higashino.